Turn found his son hiding in the bushes. The poor boy was trembling. He was so afraid. His father took him home. He went back to school. There, he became the best student in the class. His classmates were so envious of him, especially for who aspired to be the first honors in his class. He was so angry with. Turn learned what happened between Hui and his classmates. He became very anxious that he planned to escape from Vietnam. That afternoon, he dug out the gold bars that he had buried in his backyard. Mr. Turn told Hui about his plan of escaping. Father, what do you want? 
green happy. There's no freedom in this country to do nothing that's fine for free me. I will have a bright future here. I'm the best student in my class. I want to be a doctor. That's my ambition. Okay, son. There is no way for you to be called. before Hui and his father left. Mr. Trung advised his son to hide in the house of Uncle Tri. Just after he left his house, a group of communist soldiers came to his house and took his father to prison. There, Mr. Trung was shot to death. running away again, leaving the home we love, our family, our friends, and all that is precious to us. The death of Man and Uncle Tree hurt me so much. On the boat, he kept on asking himself why. Why they had to die without seeing freedom. Pirates took all their jewelry and money and killed those who tried to defend themselves. The greedy, merciless pirates left them nothing. We and the rest of the boat people became so weak because of hunger and thirst. Everybody fell asleep. and the rest of the group landed on the island. S 
somewhere in the north of Palawan, Philippines, a free country. The Filipino people gave them food and water. After a couple of days, they were transferred to El Nido. There, they were picked up by some IOM personals and were brought to the Philippine First Asylum Center in Puerto Princesa City, where they were given a temporary asylum. <laughs> 